Hello, hello, inspired a new family. Welcome back to my channel. I sincerely apologize for the absence of like two weeks. I had so many challenges that I was facing both technically and um, personally with my job, a lot of demands. So I sincerely apologize, but I want to welcome you back. I hope that you have been well during the time that we have been away from each other and that you have continued to build your altar of prayer. Please, please comment and let me know how you have built your altar of prayer, what you have been doing differently, um, meeting around the altar, and any answers to prayer that you have prayed in your new altar of prayer in your home. I am anxiously waiting to hear about some answered prayers. And so this morning, without further ado, I want to welcome you to all that God is saying and doing in the Inspired and New Land. Welcome, family. Um, today, we are, the Lord has instructed me, the Holy Spirit has impressed on me to depart from the main topic for this week. Um, and just to give a brief wrap up and summary, we have talked about the call of God to return to prayer, to fasting, to seeking his face, both in our homes and as a nation, to pray for one another, to pray for the nation, to rededicate ourselves to God through repentance and, um, fathers calling fathers back to the homes, back to their families and their children being the mentors for their children, being the leaders in the home and setting the example of love, how to love your spouse, how to love your children, how to love your family, of putting God first in their life and teaching the children the importance of prayer, the importance of the altar of God, a place of prayer. And I am going to unpack this idea of altar um, over a period of time that we'll understand the significance of the altar of prayer and what we do there. And um, so this morning, I want to say, you are welcome here. Gather around me, children, on this merry-go-round, and travel along with me to the place where we meet to pray. So we are here now at this altar of prayer that I have made in my home, and I'm welcoming you here. And as I said, in your comments, if you would like to have me pray with you about some issue and that we can believe together to see answers to prayer, please put it in your comment. I... I'm praying about getting an email site where you can email your prayer requests and we can pray about them together. And so um, we will be seeking about that. If you know how we go about getting such an email, you can also put that in the comment. So today this will be a short video, um, but I am going to tape more than one for this week. So what the Lord instructed me to do is to focus this week on praying for our nation. If you have been listening to the news, if you have been watching television, if you have been hearing anything, you know that we are in serious trouble. This nation is in serious trouble more than we even understand. But in the spiritual realm, you can pick up things in the spirit. There are undercurrents in this nation that are very destructive. The demonic entities that want to start war, mayhem, confusion, destruction, strife, unbelief are, at, are busy working on the ground behind the scenes to bring these things about. And if you are keyed up in the spirit, you will be able to sense and detect these things. And God is calling his people into serious time of seeking his face and praying and if you wonder where is she getting that from that's just her words 
saying this, praying, pray, pray, pray. Well, listen to what the Word of God says in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Our land today needs healing. We have the personal land and we have the national land. Today we are focusing on the national land. We as a nation need healing. We need forgiveness. And the only way we are going to get that is we have to repent, as the scripture says, humble ourselves, pray, seek God's face, repent, turn from our wicked ways. There are some mandates there, there are some directives that we have to follow in order to meet the criteria. When we do our part, they are conditional. When we do our part of the humbling ourselves, of the praying, the seeking, and turning, then God will answer. He will hear from heaven, forgive our sin, and then he will heal our land. So without further ado, this morning, I am going to lead us into prayer for our nation. Please join me as we pray sincerely, first humbling ourselves, confessing our sins, turning from our wicked ways, and then we'll see what God will do. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, you whom by your Spirit have called us before this altar today to seek your face, to pray, to turn from our wicked ways, to humble ourselves first of all. Father, on behalf of this nation, I and this team of believers and supporters, we humble ourselves before you this day, God. We acknowledge that we have sinned grievously against you, Father. We have not obeyed your words. We have not walked in the principles of your words. We have not been loving and kind and forgiving. We have not turned away from our sins of rebellion, of destruction, of debauchery, of lying, stealing, killing, robbing, cheating each other, unjust measures, unjust weights, trying to rip off the poor, the elderly, the widows, scamming the innocent. We have preyed on our own children. We have forsaken and neglected our children, our parents. We have done all kinds of egregious sins. We have borne false witness against each other, even in the courts. We have called evil good and good evil. We have not meted out justice to everyone equally. We have murdered. We have murdered the innocent. We have murdered each other. Oh God, forgive us this day for our trespasses and our sins. We humble ourselves before you and acknowledge that we are indeed sinners in need of a Savior. We have turned our backs upon you, Lord. And now the one whom we have served is about to destroy us as a nation. Father, we repent humbly before you this morning. I ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, that as we turn towards you, you will forgive our sins. The sin of greed, the sin of adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, inordinate affections, anger, wrath, strife, malice. Oh God, but biting, stealing, killing, Bearing false witness, fornication, Jesus. We have sinned grievously against, we have not defended the laws of righteousness and godliness. Oh Lord, hear us from your throne. And as we cry from this altar this morning, please Lord, forgive us. In your wrath, remember mercy and turn this nation around. May every heart Feel the pull of God 
and the Holy Spirit this morning to turn from wickedness and ungodliness back to righteousness and repentance. And Lord, even as we do so, I pray that you will heal this land. Let your peace that pass all understanding prevail in this land. Cast down, push down, push back, drive out every force of darkness that would seek to bring mayhem and destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. We have asked in faith, believing, and we know that you have heard us from this altar and that you will answer and forgive our sins and heal our lands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know if you have joined in this prayer. And also share your answers to prayer that you have experienced over the past few weeks. God bless you. And let us go in faith believing. You are accepted in the beloved. You are a child of the King. Be blessed. Inspired a new gang. God bless you.